What's up friends? Welcome back to space with me and my alien friend Lenny. Today, we are going to build our skills with numbers on a number line. Let's dive right in. Lenny, will you make us a number line that starts at 35 and ends at 45? Let's also add 40 on there. Perfect, thank you. Now, I'm going to put a star right here. We need to determine what number the star represents. We know the star is after 40 on the number line, and each hit mark represents one whole number. Let's start at 40 and count until we reach the star. 40, 41, 42. The star represents the number 42. Let's try another one. Lenny, give us a number line that has a tick mark for the number 200 and the number 300. You are the best, thanks. Now, let's add some points. Boom. Now, we need to determine what point on the number line best represents the number 230. Let's think about that number in relation to the numbers the line gives us. I know that 230 is more than 200 and less than 300. So 230 will be between these two tick marks. The ping point is closer to 200 than to 300, which makes sense for 230. The ping point represents 230 on this number line. Great work. All right, Lenny, give me another one. Wait a minute. Lenny, that's three number lines. What's going on here? Oh, we need to find the number line where the point represents 185. I can see there are two labeled tick marks 215 and 337. I know that 185 comes before 215. The only number line where the point is located before 215 is the last one with a green point. The last number line best represents the number 185. Alright Space Kids, you are ready to try this out on your own. Have fun!